Hello plant lovers, this is Plant Lady Tess. Today is May 27, it's Friday and it's still gloomy, there's lots of rain these past few days, like actually in May is a lot of rain, there's even a thunderstorm that passed that caused uh, power outage in our area and my plants really need light so but this video i made it so that i can show my new bookcase that i turned into a plant truck and my hubby also uh upcycled a cabinet drawer to make into a plant shelf also and i like how the way it looks here in my sala and uh, i try i i arrange my plants if they like it and i bought some new plants also and i will show you how it look like from this side okay let me see so from this area that's the window over there so i i put a metal shelf there that's a bookcase also so i transferred there at the center that's a wooden shelf i have two actually and i put this at the center and it looks nice and i can put more plants in there and the other one is there it's actually a cabinet that i'm supposed to throw but then he said okay let's make it into a plant truck and also i will uh, make this video as a plant update of my plants some are new some are, some are old and they are really trying hard to be happy in my place and i'm taking care of them and i will uh, show you some plants here in this area so this one here as you see is the benjamina ficus it was this tall before and now it's okay and I, I love the leaves and it just stay like that so it's near the entrance and the pachira that I repotted and uh, this maybe last day yesterday some leaves that fell down but it still look good yeah from here so but i transferred this here today it was there before because i have to put this plant this is actually uh, how do you call it? a ginseng plant that it was given to me this is my third plant and it has survived maybe for more than a year because it's really delicate like I don't know hopefully we like this place and I put a trellis so it can stand better so I'm just hoping it would just live here and be happy and my monsteras oh my gollies all the leaves I cut them off because they got spider mites and I cleaned them so right now the underneath is not good these are the leaves that are left behind but it's okay there's new growth although not as healthy and some of them like so this video also is a reminder for me how my plants look like at the moment and even my propagation i have to cut off the leaves but they are growing so that's how my plants look they don't look nice but they're just there trying hard to live and this hopefully it would grow because it has now leaves this one has so many aphids i don't know where the aphids came from but i kept spraying them with a solution of vinegar and soap detergent with water so i do a close up it's supposed to look like this with big beautiful leaves and it was draping before and i put them in a smaller pot and divide them oh let me see is this an aphid it looks like an uh, what is this okay maybe uh, okay i might wash the pot 
and in this area are uh, my uh, orchid, the moth orchid or butterfly orchid. They don't have flowers right now. They're just waiting to see lots of sunshine and bloom. I will fertilize them when the weather is better because uh, it's, it's hard for them to grow well without uh, sufficient light. And I put this plant over here because I want it uh, to grow higher. It is supposed to be shaped like a heart, but I left it like that. And oh, look, I have this uh, marble queen. I've been looking for this and I found it at a big box store and I bought it. And it's nice. The leaves is so pretty. And it's growing. Uh, this is the new leaf that grow in my place. It's nice. And the sweetheart vine. Or the heart leaf vine. The philodendron. Yeah. So this. I repot them already. I want this size because it's easy for me to carry and to control the water. Because they don't really dry up. And that's my basket plant over there. I put it on this side because I'm afraid that it's going to fall or because of its heavy branch at the end, hopefully not. So from this side, it will look like this. And my propagation plant, they're just there. I'm going to plant them when, uh, when there's lots of roots and uh, lots of sunshine. Okay, and here, mirror, this one, today I just noticed that the leaves have turned yellow, and uh, see, uh, this is a hardy plant by the way, and I I think uh, it's the, the soil is still wet, so I opened the curtain as much as I can, so the sun will, uh, you know, even the bright light will help it. And this is now where my aglonema leave the bottom. So these are my plants. First, they look nice, and now because of too much uh, grow light, it become like this. So I put them here to have natural light. And this one also, this one just recovered. This is its uh, second year. Yeah. So when I bought this, so this is the new leaf and I, I put it in a grow light. It was really intense and the, the colors were burned by the grow light. It's, but it's okay. It's living right now. And that's my uh, aglonema. So I just leave them there. So it would look nice. And this one also was destroyed by the grow light. But if you look closely, you will see like Hopefully the grow it would the growth point would be there. And I have several pots, they all look the same. It was so beautiful before, but I don't have a video or a picture because I was waiting for it to grow tall. But unfortunately it looks like this right now. So I'm just trying to do a close up of the new growth. And this is my new Birkin. I've been looking for this. And when I came into a store, there, are, there were several of them. And they all look the same. And I found this one with a leaf that is half moon. So it looks unique. Hopefully, it will grow well in, the, in my place. Uh, let me see. I think I, I will pot it already. Uh, I just let it chill there and I have here also this is a new plant I don't know this is uh, uh, they call it emperor emerald ripple okay let me see let me check it has beautiful leaves for me it's groovy purple so nice so pretty yeah so I have to be careful with the watering so I just leave it like that put it here we just light and I found this also 
it's nice also it has very nice leaves i don't know if it's going to to leave because the end looks brown and here are my cactus and succulent this one i don't really water them and uh, well maybe i should take it out this is my favorite one of my favorite see it's pretty look at the group yeah some may say it looks ugly but for me it's pretty so i'm looking for more of this one and it doesn't need a lot of watering and let it on here oh, slowly slowly and this one also it looks like a bunch of mountain like our a broccoli you think it looks like a broccoli it's groovy also nice i love it yeah it's so pretty and it doesn't need lots of watering Okay, I'm gonna return this here and this also is very nice succulent this is the which one is oh this one is the oldest and if you touch it accidentally this would fall off and I have to just stick it on uh, sandy soil or rocky soil and it will grow it will like this so many there yeah and uh, that th it has this one looks like thorn but it will go into like this like paper like thorn and there's more at the bottom so i just let them leave there and go fast just like this one see yeah and this is new it says dragon fruit it looks so pretty so i don't know if i should repot it or grow them separately but i will leave them like that there's my photos i put the photos here so it would grow well with the light and um, i propagated the ends of it so it doesn't look uh, long okay and outside there my leaves my, my leaves my birds are chattering there so and this is my other pachera, it's not repotted yet. Okay, I'm gonna stand. Yeah, so I'm trying to find a pot for this. And oh, to show you, I have uh, hens and chicks. Hopefully, it will not die. It was given to me, so I want it to really, really grow well. Yeah, supposed to be outside, but uh, I'm trying it. I don't have an outside garden and I love this plant also. I love its cute thorny pink thorn. Okay. And this one is old, so I showed this in my reel or clip, but the flower fell down. So maybe next time it will uh, flower and I can show you on my video. And this one, I have a video before, it has a baby now it has another baby here so i just discovered this when i set up this uh, plant shelf and i was surprised to have another one that i have to remove this uh, stone sculpture on the other side so it would have a space to grow into another you know if you like just like its big brother I want to repot this but I still cannot find a bigger pot and it looks so nice so I've been wanting this plant for since I saw a plant at a window 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 store like huge ones and I'm really really attracted to it so like I want a new one this one grow fast and this one I, I bought actually two this one I don't know maybe they're different species because it it's not as fast growing as the other one okay so and 
these are my Sansevieria. I know I have a video like this. So I put it here. Do you think it looks nice? I know it's uh, the background is dark. And this baby. Uh, Sansa looks nice. See? And there's another one here. So I'll just do a quick pass over. And these are my new babies. My Boston fur. No, no. Not Boston fur. What is this? Uh, uh, button because they look like buttons I don't know it's kind of dark to show because it's against the light and I think this is a bird's nest I'm not sure but they are all ferns and they look so pretty and I think it like this place this one needs to be watered I just have to make sure they are constantly watered like the top is moist not to let it dry too long and my calamansi okay it has a uh, one one fruit here and it is flowering and have some small fruits there i should go over to the other area but look at uh, this that's that's the mayana or coloyos coloyos that i see if it's, it's against the sun it looks so pretty and this one, oh, they keep dropping their leaf, but it's okay. I'm just trying to make them happy. I should go over by the window. So from up here, uh, it looks nice. So hopefully my plant would love it. This one needs sunshine and from when I sit here over here I would say this is my window plant area or window garden. See like, this is how it looks from the bottom right now and so nice. This one is sleeping. It's it's alive but uh it's sleeping right now see it's so shiny that oh, so. so it looks like that okay. i want to see it on the video how it looks like oh what is this maybe i should wash this off so now that my plants uh leaves get sick because i don't wash them or water them because i'm afraid they would rot and those that that's in my mayana area okay let's go over there so i want to show you my other area here there is a i have a small group of plant here so my raffidophora first it was this high now i, I put this trellis and it looks like that right now and that's my imperial philodendron that's how what they told me or what i saw on the internet and my other plants my ficus lirata the leaves these leaves have fallen off from uh, constant changing of places and but it's okay it's living so it's there right now I just want it to leave yeah and this one I have to put here because it has scale I have to brush this off and that one also some scale are growing there again I call this Arthur it's some kind of aloe and one leaf is broken I just take it there but actually they don't grow I've been putting leaves like that and my other plants here this beside is probably i put this one divider i'm oh, sorry i bumped into something and this is my favorite this one is very small now it looks like this from far it looks nice it's it looks graceful yeah i'm trying to find a black one this cc plant and well, every time I see it, I, it makes me happy. My eyes, like, 
feel oh no my eyes love it my eyes really appreciate how my plants look and in this area this is a new setup i put because uh, the sun shines here in the morning and i hope this one would grow or get more leaves because these are already all leaves my zebrina i don't know see it has a third one but the leaves there's no leaf coming out okay here so and those those are my croutons and hello birds so you're there inside you just have to chill up stay there okay okay now let's see that's my window there so from this area it looks like that i really love this area so i constantly change it yeah my window plant area the bottom is it's just like that right now and my caladium i don't know which color they are they're starting to grow slowly slowly because there's no sun what is this yeah that's it it's very small yeah i don't know i'm going to touch it yeah and hopefully they will have new leaves and the bottom this is how it looks right now i planted the coleus or my mayana so let's wait for it for them to grow and be beautiful so i'm picturing it would be all like this my window and oh this one i i just do you think it's pretty uh, this is my best one here okay okay let me see if i want to pass it through to end my video this is how my plant looks like from here okay how it's set up i hope that crown of thorns would flower and there okay if you want to know how my plants are doing just click like share and subscribe to my video from time to time i would upload some videos and see you next time bye my plant lovers take care of your plants so they would be happy and growing well if they die it's okay you learn something just keep planting planting be happy have a very nice day bye